Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.2 and Heat Blur Simulations AGS 37 Vigan Module. Welcome to Tutorial 16, RB05A Air to Air Mode. We've already covered the RB05A in a previous video where I demonstrated how to strike ground targets using it. It also, however, has an air to air mode. This is basically exactly the same as the air to ground implementation, the only difference is that it sets a different fusing. And the air to air fusing mode causes the missile to explode when it detects that it's within 6 meters of the target. So for this mode, you don't need a direct strike, which is perfect for hitting air targets. Now, of course, you're not going to be able to hit anything that's kind of moving particularly fast. Uh, it's perfect for things like bombers uh, and perhaps helicopters. And I'm going to demonstrate here how to hit a helicopter using this particular missile. Now, as before, you can see here the maximum possible loadout of RB-05A, which is two missiles, one each on pylons three and five. Uh, as before, we have a maximum range of approximately nine kilometers. The battery has a runtime of 40 seconds, and that begins from the moment we unsafe the trigger, and it has a 160 kilo high explosive warhead. So let's go ahead and get the aircraft set up. Um, we've recently been playing a lot with bombs, which is the inner ring on the weapon selector. RB05 is on the outside, and you can see here that we have modes for Hu, Mark, and Luft. So that's C, ground, and air. So make sure that your pointer is pointing to Luft on the RB05 area. And that's this setting here. No other settings actually matter. Uh, that's the only setting that we need for this particular missile. Uh, after that, you can fire the missile in attack or navigational modes. Today, we're just going to leave ourselves in nav mode, so we still have all the normal HUD symbology. Uh, and from that point forward, you're just unsafing the trigger when the time comes firing the weapon, and then using the RB05 slew commands. Let me just very quickly show you those. I've got mine set up on an axis, but they're labelled RB05 stick pitch and yaw. Uh, and I've got them on a little stick here on my uh, throttle. In the real aircraft, the, these controls are actually here behind this PAM rest. There's a little stick in here that you use to steer the missile. That's how it works in the real aircraft. Okay, so as I said, I have a helicopter up ahead. Let's uh, unpause and go after it and see if I can actually strike it. Um, it's quite hard to get hits with this. Um, it's not the easiest thing in the world, but it is absolutely doable. So let's have a go. Let's actually make sure that the yeah the helicopter is pretty much where I thought it was. Actually, I can see it now. My my eyes are trained on it now. Let's get closer in before we unsafe the trigger and go for a shot. Uh, and as we've seen in the air-to-ground mode, this missile has a red flare in the tail, uh, and we use that to steer the missile on target. There is no symbology, there's no special technology, it doesn't integrate with the radar, it doesn't do anything clever. You basically just superimpose the red flare on the target, and you hope that you get a hit. So, uh, I can see this helicopter up ahead. Let's see if we can make this hit here. Uh, I'm going to... I don't want to unsafe the trigger too early. I do have a backup missile, of course, so I have another shot if this doesn't go well. Uh, and I only need to get the missile within 6 meters in the air-to-air -air mode, as I said, so this should be doable. Okay, trigger is now unsafe. That blanks all symbology, just to give us a clear view of the target. Missile away. And it, it pitches up a bit, that's the default. Let's see, oh, this is really hard, this is really hard. Let's see, can we do it? I'm kind of all over the place here. That might be a miss. Might well be a miss. Yeah, that's a miss. So, unsafe, safe again. Fire another missile. Oh, and that's another miss! That was terrible. That was terrible. Okay, I think I've just demonstrated the difficulty of actually employing this weapon. Uh, let's reset and we'll try that again very quickly. Okay, I've reset the simulation, and you rejoin me again for another attempt at that. Uh, this time I'm going to try and attack from below, because the missile does a pop-up uh, as part of its launch, so that should make it easier to get a hit. So, trigger is unsafe. Missile's away. Oh, actually, I'm... Hmm. Not nearly as much as I expected. Let's, uh, let's try and get this on target here. 
It is so hard to do this. That's a hit! <laughs> okay, there you go. So that, that's the thing, you know, you don't necessarily need to get the missile all that close. It is a six meter fuse, but um, even six meters is, is kind of tough. So that's the, the standard employment of the RB-05A in air-to-air -air mode. Let me actually just resafe the trigger to get my symbology back. All you have to do is put the selector in Luft for RB05. You can then fire the missile in nav mode. If you want to, you can switch to attack mode. This is attack mode. You'll then get the CI lit up and all HUD symbology will be blanked. And this is done for uh, ease of spotting your targets. However, I kind of prefer to stay in nav mode and I'll have my symbology right up until I lift the, uh, the safety and then pull the weapons release trigger and simply steer on target. I'm actually going to steer this one into the ground. You can see red flare, keep the red flare on the target. Magical things should eventually happen. Boom, just like that. Okay, let's see what this looked like from the outside. There's the target. Boost is over. I'm steering it like mad. And that was a pretty decent hit. <laughs> Knocks the tail right off of that helicopter. So, there you go. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe, like, and comment. It's a really big help to me and to the channel. You also have the option of further supporting the, the channel by joining Deep Hacks Ground Crew for a small monthly fee by clicking the join button below. Thank you very much, those of you who've already done so. Your names are appearing on screen now. Uh, there are some small benefits, other than just knowing that you're supporting me in creating this content. Uh, you get to join Deep Hacks Ground Crew Discord, where we all interact with each other. And we also, on a kind of semi-regular basis, we do some flying uh, together as well in DCS. So thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.